afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Miami Marlins. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And we'll have summer sun in abundance this afternoon, 95 degrees at first pitch. Counts even at 2-2 two and two to Wong. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Dexter Fowler will be next. Oh, and the changeup is taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. The right field. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Fowler. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Lopez is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch from this guy. At, at times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances around the strike zone. He has good stuff, but when he falls behind in the count, he tends to nibble a little bit. And then when he brings the ball into hurt. the strike zone, and that when he does, good. he becomes much oh. more predictable. Oh. And what happens with that? The hits per nine innings tend to go up. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Joyce is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Matt that Carpenter. He takes his first, first cuts in this one with a man at first and two Matt away. Carpenter. The 1 1 home is strike two swinging. One and two. Fowler is off of first with two away. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Full count. Here it comes. Oh, high. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. To the plate now, Paul DeYoung. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Not your normal put away pitch. A two strike fastball down in the zone. But he was able to get wood on it and foul it away. Grounded back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. That is it. The catcher, number four. Yadier. At the plate, Yadier Molina. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Digging in, Jonathan VR. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hopped up. There to take it in is Carpenter for the first out. Into the box now, Miguel Rojas. Lifetime in this matchup. He's really struggled 0 for 10. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. 
in there and it's even now two and two one out nobody on a little late with the swing but he stays alive still two and two ball three three and two now looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter and he missed with that one it's ball four a one out walk here in the home first coming to the plate now Corey Dickerson batting 300 for the series three for ten popped up and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out and that'll bring in that Garrett cool. Cooper he's three for seven in the series coming Garrett. in Cooper. the one two is laid off for ball two that's a great pitch for a spot like that it looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. At the plate now, Lane Thomas, high in the air down the right field line, and foul. 2 2. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. So a runner on second with one down now. And the pitcher digs in next. It'll be Jack Flaherty. One and one, here it is. A ball and two strikes now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Even count two balls and two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. He stays alive, still two and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. I got three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, you start to get into swing mode. Now better. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is hit softly to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery is too late at second. And the bases are loaded here on what will be scored as an infield single. Into the box, Dexter Fowler. And it's fouled away. Bases are loaded with only one out. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Ready for another chance? Paul Goldschmidt, 0 for 1 here in the early going. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. Ready with the payoff pitch. Line drive to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning.
Stepping up now, Brian Anderson with 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Looking at his career totals, Anderson has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. The center fielder. And he takes a cold strike two. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Matt Joyce goes down for the second out in the bottom half. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Digging in, number 38. Five base hits in the series for him through nine at-bats, so he's been very productive at the plate. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Stepping in now, Pablo Lopez. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Carpenter. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at-bat. One might be coming right here. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Standing in now, Paul DeYoung. A ball and two strikes. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. So coming to the plate, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A ball and two strikes now. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Thomas has it for route number one. Striding into the box, Miguel Rojas. He drew a walk his first time up. The one two. Popped him up. Molina is under it to gone. Oh, no! 
also striding in Corey Dickerson over one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitch work the way he did right there and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Full count now three and two. Garrett Cooper would be next. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Fowler at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back, first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Into the box now, Garrett Cooper. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Tyler O'Neill. Here's the 3-1. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now, back. now in the box, the Lane Thomas. Lane. That's off the end of the bat foul, and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Lane Thomas goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. As a look, now the pitch. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Shows bunt here, but this one misses ball three. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Here's Colton Wong now. The second baseman. Two runs, six yeah. hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Weekly hit towards first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And now Matt Joyce fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set. Here's the three and two. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Now batting. The right fielder, Harold Ramirez. At the plate now, Harold Ramirez. Fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. This is flared out towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a two to one ball game. Now back. The pitcher. Jorge. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. And there's ball two now. in front three balls and a strike it's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out and a 
fastball misses there, ball four. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Pablo Lopez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Skied into very shallow right. Fowler has a read on it, makes the play, one away. And the throw comes in, and all three runners are forced to hold on with one away now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jonathan Villar. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. 3-2 pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Settling in now, Miguel Rojas. Go for one for him here in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Digging in and looking for more. Corey Dickerson, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Dickerson. One and one. Here it is. Right there at the belt. One and two now. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Riding in, Dexter Fowler, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Joyce, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Up next to the ballgame, the first baseman, Paul Goldsmith. To the plate now, Paul Goldschmidt. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Josh Rader comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Matt Carpenter will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Paul DeYoung will be next. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Two on here with one man out. And that'll bring in the Illinois State product, Paul DeYoung. 1-1. One, one. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Dickerson going back. Gone! Stepping in now, Yadier Molina. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Rojas ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now batter. Stepping up to the plate, Tyler O'Neill. It was a walk mm -hmm. in his last trip. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Hot shot down the line. Oh, way to get dirty. He is out. Oh. 
your attention, please. Now, so a new pitcher is set to go here as the right-hander Adam Wainwright gets the call. Adam. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Ready now for the Marlins. Brian Anderson. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And a curveball drops in on 2-1. Two, 2-2 two and two now. And the pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Hit the other way out toward right field. In there, a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. So now to the plate, Matt Joyce. And the count will be full. And another foul ball. Pulled toward right center field. Fowler has a read on it. Two gone. So striding forward now, Harold Ramirez, runner in scoring position with two gone. Wainwright ready, the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. and one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Ramirez enters the day with a slugging percentage in the 460s, a number he can be proud of. Ball even at 2-2. Two two. Wainwright comes set. Here's the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. And they will get... No! He's in there. A very close play at first. Into the box, Jorge Alfaro. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. John Birdie will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. We're in the fifth inning here. 5-2 is our score. Uh, and this could be trouble now. It's three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jonathan VR as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now at the plate, Miguel Rojas. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Sterling Sharp takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 52. At the plate, Lane Thomas. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here now the 2-2. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Fouled away. That's popped up. Anderson moving to his left. He's got it one away. Tommy Edmond is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher, Wainwright. Tommy Edmund. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. The second base. So a runner at first okay. now with one away, oh. and that'll bring up Colton Wong. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Made him look silly with that one. 
And he fouls this one off. The one two. Runner at first here one man out. Throw over to the bag. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. John Gant enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for St. Louis. Number 53. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Corey Dickerson. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded by Goldschmidt, and the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Garrett Cooper. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Skied into straightaway right. Fowler has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Standing now in, Brian Anderson. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous Anderson. plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see. If and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Adam Conley is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Dexter Fowler will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Takes this the other way to right. Ramirez is there, one away. One gun for the Redbirds in the seventh, and that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. One out, nobody on. A swing and a ground ball to third. And there are two away now. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And it's fouled away. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. Heading for second is Carpenter. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The bat, number 11. Football. Paul DeYoung. Standing in now, Paul DeYoung. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Now a drive by DeYoung. This ball is hit well to left field. 
Looking up is Dickerson. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate now, Yadier Molina. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Matt Joyce. One and one, here it comes. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout and there's one gone. Ready once again, Harold Ramirez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Fouled off. The next 3 2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Into the box now. Jorge Alfaro fouled away. The 2 2. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. There's one on to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. Yimmy Garcia will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Francisco Cervelli is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 29, Francisco Cervelli. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Digging in once again, Lane Thomas. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. 1 1 is a fastball that gets by him. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Jairo Munoz will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Runners on first with one down. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now that. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. The one-two. Two 
Here's a look over to first. Don't want to forget about him. A runner on first with two away. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Joyce. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Jordan Hicks is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 12. Jordan. In now, Francisco Cervelli. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. And he fouls this one off. Nope. A little low, it's two and two. <laughs> Outside and a full count, three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order loom. Swing and a miss on the Nobody. slider, and that's out number one. Second baseman, Jonas there. Now the one and one pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. The 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 plate now, Miguel Rojas. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And he's safe. So now to the plate, Corey Dickerson. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. And it's fouled away. Has a look, now the pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really gonna need to get a ground ball. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Garrett Cooper. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Popped him up. No problem over there for Goldschmidt, and there are two gone now. Andrew Miller answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Brian Anderson will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Ready with the payoff pitch. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Payoff pitch on its way. Chopped toward the second baseman. Go on to first to be in time, and the Marlins can't cash in here, and that ends the inning. Brandon Kinsler enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. He's set to start the ninth in this one and next to bat will be the outfielder Dexter Fowler. The 1-1 home takes a pitch for strike number two. One 
just hung in there on that one. The one two. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that and that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Ramirez is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Stepping into the box, Matt Carpenter, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. And that misses two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now as that misses down and in. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in the Illinois State product, Paul DeYoung. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Another full count pitch home. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. The catcher, number four, Yadier. Into the box, Yadier Molina. And this pitch misses for a ball. Two and one now to Molina. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Giovanni Gallegos comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 65. Here's Matt Joyce now. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. The 1-1 home is a slider swung on and missed away. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Goldschmidt is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Jesus Aguilar will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Aguilar. Two out, nobody on. Count is one and two now. Miami down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. 7-4 the final finish today. The St. Louis Cardinals wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Adam Wainwright earns the victory out of the bullpen his fifth. Pablo Lopez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Giovanni Gallegos earns the save out of the bullpen, his 27th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, Seven runs, 11 hits.
No error. They left 10 men on base. For the Marlins, four runs on 10 hit. No error. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.